Albert Brenner Glickman and Judy Glickman Lauder came from opposite sides of the continent. He from Portland, she from California. Today, together, excuse me, they made their mark in both places and beyond. Al built some of the first shopping centers and their success helped him give to so many causes in health, art, and education. Judy is an accomplished photographer whose work has been displayed around the world. She spent years using her lens to capture sites of the Holocaust so that we never forget. Her new book, out late last month, is Beyond the Shadows, the Holocaust and the Danish Exception. Uh, I believe there are copies downstairs if you are interested. The Holocaust, uh, excuse me, uh, the... Judy does serve on the board of this museum, among others. And I ask you now to please welcome Albert Brenner Glickman and Judy Glickman Lauder's nephew, Andy Brenner. Thank you for having us. I was with Judy earlier today, and she and Leonard, unfortunately, something came up and they had to head back to New York. So she asked me to fill in, which I'm more than happy to. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a history lesson. Joe Brenner met Ada Rudman and got married sometime in the latter part of the 19th century. They were in New York, and Joe got contacted from his cousin, Sam Rudman, we used to call him Sam Pepsi Rudman, to move up to Portland to start up the beverage operation for Portland. So they came up around 1901, 1902, and Joe was very successful. He owned multiple businesses did real well, coal company, business company, and whatever, he even had the Moxie franchise. So, you know, and, and unfortunately though, during the depression he got hit hard. So, Joe and Ada had three siblings, Norman, who was my grandfather, Ruth, and Mildred. Mildred was Al's mother. So, Mildred got married to a guy, Al Schwartz, and they had Albert. Unfortunately, after three years, Joe was in it. Albert was in a terrible car accident and died when Al was only three. So Al moved in with my parents, uh, excuse me, my, yeah, with my father and my uncle and lived there seven years. So we've been very tight with Al for, you know, 50 years, give or take. And Al then eventually moved out with Millie to the West Coast where she married Joe Glickman. Al was very motivated. He didn't like being poor. Uh, he went to UCLA. He graduated from UCLA Law, and then as Erwin just mentioned, he went into shopping center development, and boy was he good at it. And he did really very well. But you know, even with all the things he was doing in Los Angeles, and he was, you know, a, you know he, he was on a lot of boards, he was, a lot of charities, a lot of things in, in LA, he decided he, he really wanted to move back to Maine and, and do something in Maine. So surprising to us, he came back, he told us he was going to move back, and he did. And he and Judy, Judy was a trooper, you know, not really, you know, the difference in California lifestyle and Maine lifestyle is just a slight bit off. But nonetheless, you know, she came here, she did well in it, she liked it, he liked it. You know, he was on the board of, geez, it seems like he was on the board of everything. You know, whether it's the University of Maine, if you look at the the, uh, the library there on, on Forest Avenue. He was involved with the University of New England. He was involved in every charity, the Portland Museum of Art, you know, uh, Maine Medical Center, everything you could think of. Uh, but, you know, and he really thrived being here. So my Uncle Al, and yeah, sure, technically first cousin once removed, but you know, we'll let that one pass, you know, was, uh, was very successful and he had a great life. Um, unfortunately, he got afflicted with Parkinson's, and which made him on the board of a Michael J. Fox, of which his son has continued on with that. Uh, but, you know, Judy has continued on uh, with being very charitable for the state, within the state of Maine, as she is in, in New York and in California, too. So I, I'm humbled to, to be able to, to take the award from them, but believe me, I didn't earn this award, they did. Thank you. Albert Glickman was born in Portland, 1933. His family relocated to California where he pioneered the concept of the community shopping center. He was a great visionary, was also an advisor to presidents, senators, and governors. 
His philanthropy is apparent in the Glickman Family Center for Child and Adolescent Psychiatry, as well as the Spurwing School, UCLA, University of Maine System, UNE, the Portland Symphony, the Portland Museum of Art, and Cedars Sinai Hospital, to just name a few. Al was a leader at the Michael J. Fox Foundation, where he focused his energies and resources in the pursuit of finding a cure for Parkinson's, knowing the benefit was for future generations. Judith Glickman Lauder was born in California. She is a fellow of the Royal Photographic Society of Great Britain and is a member of both the Getty Museum Photographic Council and the Photographic Vistig Committee of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Her work is represented in over 300 public and private collections, including the J. Paul Getty Museum, the Whitney Museum of American Art, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and the United States Holocaust Museum. Judy spent years delving into the actual sites of the Holocaust. In the 1990s, she was invited into Denmark to locate and photograph Danish World War II rescuers and survivors. Her latest book, Beyond the Shadows, has just been published. Judy serves on the board of the Maine Jewish Museum and the Portland Museum of Art. Her philanthropy has most generously extended, among many other places, to the Maine Jewish Museum and to the Portland Museum of Art, where she and her husband, Leonard Lauder, gave a recent donation representing the museum's largest matching gift ever.